Bonjour, welcome everybody to the Cuisine Vivante. I'm Nathalie. Bonjour, I'm Jeff. And uh, today we're going to show you how to make something awesome. And the way you make something awesome is uh, you just put everything that you love into it and, uh, and it's going to be great. Yeah. This is, uh, this is the base. We're using a pie, a pie crust. But you can also use like a pasta base or a rice base. Yeah, or pizza. Couscous. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, but we chose, we chose the pie. Right. Okay, so we are going to start with some cheese on. So we choose uh, Cœur de Lyon Camembert because I really love this cheese. It's our favorite. It's our favorite. So I decided to dice it in small pieces and uh, I'm going to put, put it like here and there and it's just to have something like, uh, uh, you know when you have this surprising bite when you're eating something and it's already really delicious and all of a sudden you you have this more flavored bite. It's a little burst of flavor, like yeah. a, like a chules, like the chules gum yeah. back in the day. So I love this. So I'm just putting it. I can. You can also use like a mozzarella this. or parmesan or mono. Right. I mean, it's just choose something that you like, exactly. and uh, and it's gonna work. One of my favorite ingredients in cooking is uh, is actually garlic and ginger. Uh, and so what I've done is I've, I've, uh, I've cut up uh, some, some garlic and some ginger into this bowl here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle it evenly throughout the pie. Mm. And I think that's going to be delicious. This is going to be awesome. It's going to have some very, it's a, it's very strong flavor. Both of them yeah. are very strong flavor and they're kind of uh, opposite. But, uh, but I think it's good to provide a little variety right. uh, for Right. Some, some smell and some spice and uh, yeah, that's gonna be very nice. healthy. Okay. So I also, there's another thing that I really, really love, which is chocolate. So I chose this time some lint chocolate, but uh, you can choose any chocolate that you like. <clears throat> and so I've chop, chopped it uh, in small pieces and I'm gonna put some chocolate all over the place because everybody wants chocolate. And we want uh, chocolate in every bite, I think. Yeah, and, uh, and it's gonna melt and it's gonna be awesome. Just perfect. And I also love, really love bananas. Bananas are healthy, they have uh, all this potassium, potassium yeah. and uh, I think it always goes really well in any dishes. So <clears throat> I'm gonna have bananas all over the place because I want all the pieces to have bananas. We want at least one banana piece in each slice, I think. Right. That's kind of what we're going for. And maybe even two or three. Yeah. I prefer when, I mean, when there's a little bit of banana, I just want to have more banana. So, so I'm just. And that's what this this dish is about. It's everything that you love and uh, and and just the right quantities. Uh, yeah. And uh, I think this is going to be delicious. Mm, and I want to nice. add a little bit that's going to make it even more delicious. I I love music. Um, I love playing music. I love writing music. And so I'm going to take this uh, this violin string here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of put it around in its own circumference here, right in the center, so every slice mm. gets a little bit of violin string. Yeah. Uh, likewise, I'm going to, I have this, uh, this sheet music here. It's in B flat. Uh, some people use C. Uh, C's the people's key, but I play horns, so I like B flat. Yeah. And uh, so I'm just going to cut this up and, uh, and distribute it evenly. I'm going to get you know, some, some flat notes, some sharp notes. Yeah. Some triplets, <laughs> some eighth notes, some sixteenth notes, all those things. And uh, it's a very poetic and musical dish. It is, and uh, you know we're actually putting the notes into the dish. And we're just gonna mm -hmm. get it. Yep. I want, I want probably like three measures, three musical measures per slice. I think that's that's how we want to distribute it. Uh, I also write sometimes. I write music. Uh, I write stories. So I'm gonna. Uh, I want to put some ink. Mm-hmm. Great. Kind of moisten up the dish a little bit. Yeah. And you see, I put it in kind of a spiral pattern, but uh, that that's not going to affect. It's just for for appearance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and and I really love um, sewing and creating things. So I'm going to put some of these thimbles. I think they are quite uh, oh, those are beautiful. also symbolic. They are, uh, you know, these. Thimbles are these things that people invented ages ago when they are still so practical and 
and beautiful and simple and uh, they're made of different materials so it's gonna add a different character to here and there on the dish and um, also some have uh, uh, some stone and uh, yeah oh, it's so gonna it's gonna be kind of uh, one for each piece and I think it's gonna add something nice and also I have prepared here some pieces of um, fabric so all kinds of fabrics with uh, all kinds of uh, texture material Looks all like you have your, your wedding dress in yeah here too. of course I did okay. yeah and uh, I like natural materials so it's gonna be silk uh, it's gonna be uh, cotton uh, and uh, and also very colorful because I really like I mean I think this dish has to be has to be a joyful colorful um, dish and, and, and uh, these pearls cook well, these pearls right here they'll cook down but you just want to be aware because when you bite into it you might get a pearl in your teeth and uh, you know just forewarning but I think and, it'll be just fine I think it'll soften up in the oven and it's bright and beautiful a lot of light and color all over the place oh, that's, that was great. That was great. yeah I uh, we, we, we both do carpentry we, we build cabinets and we do work around the house, kind of uh, handyman type work. So I thought it'd be important because we love doing carpentry to, to add some carpentry elements into the, into yeah, the pie. So we have, a, we have some measuring tape and uh, just a little, a little bit of measuring tape, just a little bit of accent, a little bit of flavor, and then a bunch of uh, nails. And these nails will soften up in the oven also. Um, and I think there's going to be a really nice crunch. Yeah, perfect. And another thing that I really like and that I think it's can be nice here, it's um, so it's some uh, um, earplugs. So these because I really love swimming, so I got some earplugs. Well, I had this one. It's a uh, Atletec. Uh, you could have. I mean, I could have chosen for Gospel or. I mean, not any, any, any brand. Athletex is kind fine. of the higher, the higher end earplugs. So we don't know if you want to spend that much. If you don't, you can just go to Go Sport or. Um, yeah. yeah so wish. I've cut it in slices, and uh, this one is one that I've already used. So um, so oh, it can add really nice flavor. some nice flavor. So I'm gonna put it around. It's gonna melt and be a little bit like the cheese here and there you're gonna have a taste i think the, the earplugs and the camembert are going to combine for a really nice flavor yeah i love your hair and i, I want to make sure that we get uh, a couple of uh, a couple of pieces in your hair just for like a, a little spice ah! on top don't and, take the uh, white ones okay, okay perfect. No, no, i got, I got the brown, a nice brown one a nice thick brown one because i really love your your thick brown hair okay perfect well then i'll get some of these red hairs that you have oh, here okay. Just for the color and uh... Oh, let me get down. Yeah, redness. Okay, perfect. Yeah, here you are. Oh, oh. there you go. Perfect. Okay, that's great. Yeah, but there's another thing that I really love uh -huh. on you. Yeah. Which is your green eye. I think we could oh. maybe have one of oh, those. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me take my glasses off. Let me see you. Oh! <laughs> is it okay? <sighs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it oh. is. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh. There we go. Okay. Here's my green eye. Okay, perfect. That okay. is going to be delicious. I'm going to put it yeah. right in the center. Yeah. Right there. Great. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Okay. And, and just to finish the whole dish, I'm going to add, of course, well, from the beginning, we, we've been adding this, but now I'm going to add uh, also um, a lot of love and TLC. So I chose to get some uh, Sanjak shells because it also will look really well. Will that's gonna bring be some really. You can't see it very well, but uh, I'm sure that's gonna be. Yeah, beautiful. I have different colors, and uh, this is gonna be, you know, it's gonna be all really nice and beautiful around. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. And I think that, right. that about does it for this pie. I, I'm going to let you put it in the oven because my hands are kind of bloody, but uh, we're, right. this is a dish that cooks for a very long time and we're yeah. going to cook it at 37 degrees Celsius, mm. 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Look and, at this. Uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. And so we're going to put it here, 37 degrees, as Jeff said, for a pretty long time. So, so we're going to uh, check back with you in a little bit and uh, we'll show you how it's going. Right.
Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Welcome back to Cuisine Vivant. We've yes. been cooking this dish for a little while. We're going to take a look right. and see how it's going. Yes. All right. That looks pretty looks good. Looks pretty good. Yeah. It looks, yeah. It's coming along. We're going to keep it cooking for a little while longer, and uh, we'll keep you posted. We'll let you know how it goes. That's right. See you soon. Bisous. Bye.